Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Grace Lee. We've got a packed show today. Just remember, though, you can follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, as well as Twitter. Today, we're going to introduce you to the very funny and talented Zara Norbash. She has a one-woman comedy show about being Muslim American and being in love with an atheist. We'll then take you back in time to San Mateo in the 1940s as award-winning photojournalist and documentary filmmaker Lou DiMatteis searches for his estranged father's past. And then we're gonna finish up with how you can enroll your kids in a summer theater camp. But first, we're going to begin with two men determined to help African-American teenagers from low-income families into college. The CEO, Cedric Brown, of the Mitchell K. Poor Foundation is here with us today. And that foundation helps to finance groups like the College Bound Brotherhood, and that's led by Danny McClain. Together, the council coach and grant scholarships to Bay Area teens. Good morning to the two of you. Good morning. Why don't we start with you, Cedric. Why is it so important to help this one group, this group of African-American teenagers, get to college? Well, we've done some, at the KPOR Foundation, we've done some research that showed that one out of seven African-American young men is eligible by requiring, by, by taking their a through G requirements to go to college after they graduate from high school, one in seven. So we wondered, well, where are the other six? And this is a, a waste of potential talent that could go into our labor force in the United States, as President Obama has talked about wanting to create a 21st century labor force. So we think that this is of utmost importance in trying to get this population of young men ready to go to school, which will then increase their social mobility and their economic mobility as well. And are you finding that these programs have become successful? Because I know you guys have put in what, about a million dollars in the yes. past few years? Yes. So the College Bound Brotherhood is actually a program of the Mitchell K. Poor Foundation, and together we fund a number of programs in the, the Bay Area that are working on college readiness for students. And uh, the results are really phenomenal. We just had a, a graduation ceremony at the Oakland Museum two weeks ago that uh, celebrated 65 perhaps over 65 young men who are on their way to institutions like Columbia, Stanford, UC Merced, UC Berkeley, and a host of other schools and community colleges. So we're starting to see the results of the work that these terrific organizations in the community are doing. And we just saw the picture of that group of 65 young men, and that's really impressive that you were able to get those guys into colleges. It's in very prestigious names as well. Well, the, the, I have to give credit to the community based organizations. We work with groups from Marin County like uh, the Hanna Project to uh, San Jose, the, the Green Scholars Program, the Young Scholars Program, Juma Ventures. There are 15 grant recipient organizations that we're focusing on out of a pool of over 100 programs in the Bay Area. And it's those programs that are really getting the young men ready to go. The Brotherhood provides a nexus and a network to bring together all of the folks who are doing that work to celebrate to learn from one another and to have the young men see each other and to know that they're part of something bigger right because as a group I'm sure they learn a lot more from each other now we also have Danny McLean here from the College Bound Brotherhood you're on the council yes. and you mentioned that you guys have a really important pledge that you're pushing for right now right yes right now as a as a group as a council member um, one of our, our you know very important jobs was to to figure out a pledge for young black men to sign and agree to this pledge, basically stating that you know you're 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 ready and you're willing to complete all necessary steps to to make it to that next step, which is college. And um, you know we've had a, a lot of success with that. Do you find that even just signing that pledge and just planting that seed in their mind that they then really work hard to get to college? Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, just by just by signing something, you'll be amazed by how much people are motivated to, to really push themselves uh, as a person. So it is great. That's pretty cool. And Cedric, you mentioned it's not just about the scholarships or the grants. It's also about getting them prepared for testing, helping them to pay fees for that. What, what else do you guys do to help them with? Well, one of the things that we started with at the KPOR Foundation when we, we implemented the College Bound Brotherhood was creating a database that is online, collegeboundbros.org, and any parent, student, educator, anyone interested in finding a college readiness program in his or her community can go to that database, 
do a search and locate resources that are going to be helpful. So some of the organizations are in there, some scholarship resources are in there. That, that's one way that people can take individual action to get on the path to college. And one thing to remember, you guys don't have requirements except that you need to be African American and you need to be a male. They help all kinds. So it's such a great program. I want to say thank you to Cedric and to thank Danny to coming, for you. coming in today. If you'd like more information, they do have a website. It is mkf.org if you want to check it out and get some more information. But don't go away. They send it coming right back right after the break.